Mr. Math here. Thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. And hello again viewers. Welcome to Let's Play Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Would you like to connect online? This will allow you to make your gameplay information visible to other players all over the world. Well, that's what kind of what I'm doing by recording it for YouTube. And yeah, I'm not really into this online connection while inside the game business. So yeah, this setting can be changed later by selecting a file on the title screen, playing until Wise Waddle D appears, then checking the X online settings. All right. Select a difficulty, wild mode or spring breeze mode. A Kirby game that's simple to play. You'll have a lot of health for this adventure, perfect for those who are new to action games. Or wild mode, a Kirby game that's a bit wilder and more challenging. This adventure will be tough at times, but you'll collect a lot of star coins as rewards. You'll be able to change the setting later. Well, I am not a big time Kirby player. I think in all the years I've only ever played two and that was the Kirby game back on the old NES and the Kirby game on the Wii. I'm pretty sure those are the only two I've ever played. So I'm not an expert but my understanding is that Kirby games are by and large very easy. So I'm going for wild mode. And a typical day on planet Kirby people. Such a nice day, Kirby thinks. Ooh, a star. And let's hop on the star, because why not? <laughs> Oops, that's why not. big star-shaped hole in the sky that starts sucking everything in. It's basically a big Kirby. Oh no, a big me in the sky, says Kirby. I'd better run away. And there go all the Waddle Dees, including what's-his-guts there. He's a special Waddle Dee. That's about as much as I know. Oh, and there goes Kirby into the big Kirby in the sky. I have actually played the first level as a test play, so I've seen this before, at least up to this far. And here we are in Besaid Isle, oops, uh, wrong game. This is not Blitzball World. But it is a pretty beach. Has a crab on it. Oh, the crab runs away. Oh, I got a coin already. And ooh, Kirby has an inner tube when he goes swimming. I didn't notice that during my test play. I don't know why he would even need one. I imagine he's uh, enough of a soft puffball that he would float naturally. Jump with the A button. Didn't I change that? No wait, I changed that during my test play. I believe I like type B better than type A. Yeah. I like attack and jump next to each other like that. Rather than next to each other like that. Just feels more natural like this. And auto swallow, I want that off. Thank you very much. That's more like it. Just 
flowers. Oh, something shiny. Let's go look at the something shiny. And more star coins suddenly appear. And anything down here? It would appear not. Okay then. Ooh, an enemy! He doesn't know who he's dealing with. Those purple flowers are apparently just decoration. I can't do anything with them. Okay. Kick the can. And what is this? A big city with overgrowths on the buildings and such. And a convenient signpost telling me where to go. How nice. Let's kick the dandelions. Because we are mean and we like kicking dandelions. I have the sword, yay! Spin attack. Oh, got too close to him. I can hover like so. And I regain my lost life power. Yay! And here's the ladder. Up we go. Ooh, the bomb guys. Hmm. Do I want to change my power? You know what? Yes, I think I do. It looks like a place I could drop down to. I wonder what happens if I do. Okay, well that answers that question. Don't drop down there. How about I get some food to refill? here. Doesn't look like it. Alright then. Can't destroy that uh, roadblock there. Okay, here we go. Ooh, cutscene. Kirby looks so cute. Uh-oh. Enemies that are almost as cute as Kirby. But they don't know who they're dealing with. Neither does that poor car. And he has side view mirrors for arms. Turbo. And it's action movie time, crashing through walls. I can run over enemies. They 
regret messing with me. Oh. I missed the jump. <laughs> okay, I've never had that happen before. Granted, I've only played this level once, I think. Down the bridge! Yeah! <laughs> Kirby likes the pop music. Then we get the J pop intro. Kirby in the Forgotten Land. I like the hat. Oh, boy, stuff your belly in a while. <laughs> Come on, Kirby. You're supposed to kill everything that moves. That's what you do. No matter how cute they are. Oh, the dogs are chasing the car, of course. Kirby, you are not supposed to drive on top of the lane divider like that. Someone needs his license revoked. Good old Hal Laboratory. They make so many Kirby games. Really, it's kind of amazing how many they make. Well, that was awkward. I wonder if you guys heard that. I was turning down the volume on another device. And spit out the car, okay. More like, fart out the car. That's gross. So, oh yeah, sometimes these rocks do give me star coins. I was about to say, I wonder if these rocks are going to give me star coins. <laughs> Question answered before I asked it. Yeah, I'm not a big Kirby fan, like I said. I've only played two of these games before. And still, I've been looking forward to this one, because it looked pretty neat. A destroyed village, ooh. Oh, the, um, whatever they are, is, are being imprisoned in big faces. Oh, and what's this? Another cute furry thing. With sad eyes. Oh, he's so scared. Oh, and he gets imprisoned in a face also. Looks like a Bowser face. Alright, and here's Kirby. Okay, guys. Slow mo for the last guy. And the Bowser face breaks. And we dance. The air of Michael Jackson right there. Phew, you saved me. Thank you. But what about those other guys? 
The Waddle Dees, that's what they're called. Waddle Dees. I can never remember. They were all captured and taken away. We fought those beasts as hard as we could, but they kept coming back for more. Now I'm the only one left. I have to go save them. I have to. What? You'll help me save everyone? That's great! So, your name is Kirby? I'm Elphilin. Nice to meet you. Alright. So, this is, I believe, Waddledee Town. Something like that. Hey, Kirby! Oh, this guy. Okay. Co-op with two players. Select Play Co-op from the pause menu to have player two control Bandana Waddle D. Work together by playing together. Well, I would like to give that a shot. But it looks like it has to be couch only. And my couch is kind of small, unfortunately. If only it were online, that would be cool. I mean, couch is fine, but I like the option. But, oh well. Maybe they'll patch that in later. Boy, am I glad to see you. I got pulled through that vortex of our planet Popstar, too. Oh, I thought it was planet Kirby people. Okay, planet Popstar. There we go. Like I said, not a Kirby fan. In, in case I'm giving the wrong impression, that doesn't mean I don't like Kirby games. I've very much liked both of the games I've played. It's just that I've only played two out of the, you know, 659 that have been released over the years. Or however many it is. You know, a lot of them. Anyway. Boy, am I glad to see you. I got pulled through that vortex over Planet Popstar 2. If you ever want a second player to join you, just let me know. I'll always be ready. Bandana Waddle Dee. Yeah, I, I knew that this guy was kind of special. But, yeah, I didn't know who he was. I didn't know his name. Does he have more to say? No, it's just the same thing he's already said. Oh, no, well, he's adding a bit more info this time. If you want a second player to join you, just call me anytime through the pause menu. I'll rush over. Okay, well, nice to know. New to world map. Okay. And we zip away on the star, like Kirby always does. I know that's the thing for Kirby. I've seen enough Kirby stuff to know that. And that kind of looks like uh, Seattle, with what looks like the Space Needle. Downtown Gardens, okay. And here we are in the Natural Plains, where we can... Come on, Kirby, let's save those poor captured waddle... Yes, I'm about to. Just don't rush me. Natural Plains. There are 46 possible Waddle Dees here. And yeah, see that thing at the bottom... On the bottom right, that uh, um, silhouette of a city... Has kind of a Space Needle-ish looking thing on the left side there. So yeah, kind of resembles Seattle. I kind of doubt that's what they were going for, but that's what it looks like to me. Okay. So... Can't go very far through here. Huh. Search? I saw something pop up that said search. There it is. Um, come on, there we go. Oh, just gives me more star coins. Huh. I didn't even know that was a thing. There's one over here, too. Um, there it is. No, not that button. Darn it. This button. Yeah, more star coins, okay. And it auto saves whenever I find some. That's interesting. Anyway, into the downtown grassland. Missions. Clear the stage. Save the hidden Waddle Dees. Question marks, question marks, question marks. Okay. Start.
By the way, when I said earlier that I played the first stage, this was what I meant. I didn't, I wasn't referring to the tutorial stage that I've already done here. I meant this one. So I know what I'm doing here. Anyway, on we go. Let's kick the dandelion. Oh, missed. Darn it, I keep missing. Make five tulips bloom, one of five, all right. Hmm. So I'm looking at that bunny, blue bunny thing off in the distance there, and wow, it has a lousy frame rate. Now this cutter guy that I'm, that's really close up front, he has a pretty good frame rate. I guess that's the way they keep the game running as smoothly as possible. Drop ability, right. Let's suck you in and eat you. Yeah, so I didn't notice this during my test play, but yeah, it looks like the way they keep the game running smoothly for what we see up front is by making the stuff in back run not so smoothly. That's a reasonable compromise to make, I think. Kick the dandelion because I want to. Cake! And there's a tunnel here with another tulip. Okay. Uh, right, this thing. I am now a drinks vending machine. I can shoot drinks. Soda shot, it's called. Whoa, a lot of enemies here. I go and pick up soda cans, it adds it to my ammo. I currently have 83 soda cans, 82 soda cans that I can spit out. Okay, I could just go up here, but let's go in here instead. And I broke the building shutter, getting one of the optional quests. And I can't make it up here as the soda machine, so I have to leave it behind. And I get a special figurine thingy mabobber that we'll learn more about at the end of the stage. And at first, I thought that I could steal that bull guy's power, but no, I can't. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I could have just gone up here, but then I would have missed some prizes. Get the dandelions, get the blooms. quite finished here. So before I grab the uh, teleport star, let's make sure I've gotten everything. Okay, yes I have. Alright! Onward! Hi! Oh, he waves at us. How friendly.
Yeah, the... I keep noticing, now, now that I've seen it, the frame rate on things far away is pretty awful. But as you get close, it smooths out. So yeah, I could just collect them that way in order to avoid problems with these guys. Or I could have put them down there so that they couldn't fire over my head. However you want to do it. Now I'm a traffic cone, yay. To my knowledge, that is generally not what you use traffic cones for. But you could if you wanted to, because they tend to be pretty firm. Although I don't think they could crush the ground like that. Probably not firm enough for that. Unless the ground is really weak. Where was that bull guy? Okay. Got him. And I was able to walk right underneath those bullets. This one I could get through if I wanted, but let's do the fun way instead. Up we go! Oh, and I rode the spewing water up to the balcony to get another one of the optional quests. And I got another figurine! Hooray! Cherries. I really like cherries. Too bad they're only in season for a very brief time. Okay. There's a bit of a boss fight coming up. I think I want to stick with the cutter. charging at me now. And... come on. Oh, gotta get out of the way. Oh, that was close. He almost got me. There we go. Alright, do I want the sword? Well, let's go for it, see if it comes in handy. Yay! I saved one of the hidden Waddle Dees. That wasn't exactly hidden, though. Showing some really good texture on his cap. Looks like an actual knitted wool cap. Alright, got 
some healing. And this thing. Turn the left stick around to open it. And there we go. Got another hidden Waddle Dee. Yay. Now I'm remembering what they're called. I guess if I just keep saying it out loud, then I'll remember. When I'm playing off camera, as it were, I generally don't talk. Am I going to murder this guy in his sleep? Yes, I am. Because I am Kirby. Murdering guys is what I do. Out of the way, thank you. Ow. How dare you. And look, it's another traffic cone. Tied up with a vine. Well, I can fix that. Okay. And I saved all the hidden waddle dees. Yay. Let's fart this thing out. There's another tulip. Excellent. Missed it. Oh, there we go. Four or five. Almost done with that. Here's the fifth tulip. Hooray! That gives me another Waddle Dee. I don't know how that works because no Waddle Dee popped out of the flower, but eh, I'm not going to question it. Okay, I need this thing. And we do this again. Yay! And I'm below the level of this guy, so he can't get me. He has an entire house on his back right now. It's kind of impressive. And now, he bites that thing open for me. And up I go. For another figurine. And also a place where I can launch myself down on the house below. Ouch! Right in the back. Stage cleared. Okay, cleared the stage, save the hidden Waddle Dees, made five tulips bloom, break the building shutter, ride the spewing water up to the balcony. Did it all! Of course, it's not too difficult. This was the very first stage. Volume 1. Don't know what that means. But anyway, I got the Kirby figurine. Kirby was pulled into a mysterious vortex that appeared in the sky over his home on Planet Popstar. When he woke up, he was in a new world. Traveling through that vortex also gave Kirby a new and mysterious power. Let's see what it can do. Onward to adventure. And the radio. <laughs> That's what played the music during the uh, opening cutscene. That J-pop song. And Conehead. Not the one from Saturday Night Live, but rather the Kirby version. Cone Mouth Kirby. Eh, 
cone head is more appropriate, but I guess that was copyrighted or something. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode ability after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire cone into his mouth. Use your pointy head to jab below you and bust open cracks in the ground or on pipes. You're an out of cone troll, Kirby. <laughs> well, okay, I guess they have to do something with it. Might as well be puns. Alright, and off we go! And the next stage opens. And we have all, all Waddle Dees saved, all nine of them. Your figure collection is now available. Use this to view all the figures you've collected. See if you can collect a full set. Yay, collectibles. That's always fun, he said with a mild tone of sarcasm in his voice. I mean, it's probably not appropriate to say that I'm OCD because, you know, no official diagnosis, but you know, I just have to get everything, and it's really annoying. You know, it's usually pretty tedious, but I just have to do it. I can't resist. I just can't not do it. We got the Kirby figurine. And there's a look feature. So if I push the A button. Oh my god, that's creepy. A huge Kirby looking at a small Kirby. If I rotate it, at least I don't have to be looking at the huge Kirby anymore. Unless I rotate it all the way around. And there he is, staring at us with his unblinking eyes. Actually, as you can see, he does actually blink. <laughs> but still, staring at us. So what else do we have? We've got Cone Mouth Kirby. Same thing. You know, this seems kind of, I don't know, featureless, plain, unadorned. I think sooner or later we ought to be able to do more than just be scared with a giant Kirby staring at us in the background like that. You know, maybe, I don't know, if we get a figurine of like a mini boss or something, maybe uh, have some kind of boss rush mode. Or, you know, boss fight thing where we can fight them again. Or with something like this, a power test room where we can, as the name implies, test the power. You know, we're, so like in this case, we could use the cone mouth power and go through some kind of mini dungeon or timed trial or something. I hope it uh, opens up like that, because as it is, this is kind of boring. And no description for the radio, because it's apparently not important enough. Only two stars on the base instead of three. There's a heat vent on the back, but no battery case and no power cord either. How does it play then? Mysterious. So that's all I have right now. Three figures out of 79 total. And that's just volume one. I wonder how many volumes there are. Stage list. Downtown Grassland and through the tunnel. So if we click 
on that list there, it takes us straight here. However, before we do that, let's go to Waddle Dee Town, because something will have changed. The Waddle Dees are rebuilding their town. Save as many as you can to open up new buildings and helpful resources. Waddle Dee Cinema is now open. Rewatch the memorable scenes on the big screen. Now suddenly I am wondering to myself, how is it that this is the Waddle Dee town when they were all dragged through that big star-shaped portal in the sky like we were? This isn't where they're from. So how can they be rebuilding it? That doesn't really make a lot of sense. Oh well. It looks like the Waddle Dees have been hard at work. Want to take a look around? What's it look like I'm doing? I can't talk to them though. I'd like to. But, no, it doesn't let me. So, I can defend, but I don't know how well that works. I'll have to try it out. And back to the natural plains. Downtown Grassland, we just finished that. Through the tunnel. Clear the stage, save the hidden Waddle Dees, question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay. Let's go. Through the tunnel. Okay, we got that fire guy over there. So... Now usually when uh, you see a new power, you want to check it out. And it looks like I can walk right through my own fire without getting hurt, which is certainly useful. Light four lantern switches, okay. That was useful, leading me right to this thing. Let's stop jumping over my fire. Thank you. Checkpoint. Alright, I guess that's useful to know. Fire guys are vulnerable to fire. Go figure. Dragon Kirby. Hopefully there is no Dovahkiin nearby. And what is that? A switch? Oh. Opens the wall here. Find the secret room. Okay, yeah. What is that? Flan? Custard of some kind. Oh, a hidden Waddle Dee. That's one of four. Ha, ah, Star Coin. Huh, that looks like a 
old school Nintendo controller right there. This control panel here. Anything I missed? I don't believe so, but... Okay, anyway. Moving on. Continuing on through the tunnel. There ought to be something more here. Well, I guess not. Through the door. Oh, another one of those lantern things. <laughs> Made an arrow showing me the direction, as if I didn't already know. off if I'm in the air when I use the power oh another lantern excellent A switch I'll bet it opens that yellow door right down there sure enough got another figure platforms. Whoa. There's food over there, but I'm not hurt. Oh well, let's get it anyway. Oh, wait, there's something I can kick right over here. No star coins. Waste of time. Okay, light four lantern switches. Did that. Aha! The bomb block. Excellent. There we go. Oh, and a rice ball. And of course, the bottle D. Enter cannon. Okay. I'll do that in just a moment. Okay. Wanted to burn that guy to death first. Enough. 
And the Blamo. Ah, another hidden Waddle Dee. That's three of four. On we go. Wow, this guy's taking a lot. Real beating. Oh, I can burn that thing. No, wait, no, I can't. Huh. All right, then. Unfortunate. Fall over. <laughs> shaped pattern. That was convenient. Hmm. Figurine, okay. music is pretty funky. Admittedly, I don't know much about Kirby, but it doesn't really sound Kirby-ish to my ears. What is that on the wall? Looks kind of like someone ran Kirby over on a road and then put an X through him. That was a wanted poster. Okay. Interesting. And I got an achievement of sorts by doing that. Fair enough. Hmm. Something tells me this isn't going to work. somewhere else. Uh, Alright, this should do. Okay, so that's where I need to go. But this is where I want to go. That was simple enough. Ha! The last hidden Waddle Dee. All right. Treasure chests, yum. Have I done everything? Check. Yeah, I've done everything except clear the stage. Okay. So the bottom right there. I saved all the hidden Waddle Dees and I've done the three optional quest whatever my bobbers. All right then. And it takes me outside.
burn the grass. That's kind of scary, actually. Only you can prevent forest fires. Not this is a forest. Oh, a roasted chicken. Okay. I know a lot of people say that chicken isn't very good, but you know, if you get a good, if you get a solid free range chicken, then they are, they have a lot more flavor than the, oh, a treasure chest. A lot more flavor and texture than one of those factory, one of those poor factory farm chickens. Figurine. Okay, is there anything else hidden around here? Can't burn that. Oh, another star coin. I'll take it. Kick the dandelions. Uh, I do believe that's everything, actually. Looks like everything. That was odd how the music suddenly turned off there for a moment. Anyway. Stage clear. Clear the stage, save the hidden model Ds, find the secret room, light four lantern switches, remove the wanted poster. Okay. Sir Kibble. Isn't that a kind of dog food, Kibble? Well, anyway. Water tank. These are never filled with water. They're filled with other stuff. Well, whatever. Cutter Kirby. Swish. Sling that sharp-edged boomerang. Use it to grab far-off items. Hold the button down to freeze it in midair and charge it up. That will make it extra powerful. Swish. I can also keep it in place to continually damage an enemy over time. And off we go! Into the sky! Rocky Rollin' Road. Oh, Waddle Dee's saved! Whoa, what the... The Waddle Dees you saved found a new mysterious area, Treasure Road. There could be rare items in there. Hop in and explore. More star-shaped vortexes. Interesting. Cutter Treasure. Target time, one minute. Difficulty, one star. Throw and catch treasure collecting. Huh. Wonder how difficult this is going to be. Well, let's find out. Throw and catch. So that implies I have to use the boomerang ability. pretty quickly. Missed. over here. Oh, missed. There we go. Oh, missed again. Oh, missed again. There we go. 
Fuck. Well, that was a failure. Uh, one second over. if I make the target time? Do I get something special? Well, I almost did it. So it's not that challenging. I mean, if, if even I can almost do it, then yeah, that's not bad at all. I did worse. Yeah, I did worse. Okay, one more try and then I'm moving on. Succeed or fail. Just one more try. I think I'm at 45 seconds. Come on. Almost done it. Yeah, I think that's like 48 seconds. Ha <laughs> ha. Ooh, 50 star coins. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, not exactly the most exciting reward, but eh, I did it. Bomb treasure, eh? Triple strike, bowling for switches. Target time, 30 seconds, wow. All right. Well, okay, I'm not going to get the time now. Oh, come on, Kirby. Oh, you 
you're doing terrible, Kirby. I'm pretty sure I missed the time. I think I started three minutes. Oh. And it's... 224, which means more than 30 seconds has gone by. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Nearly 10 seconds over. Okay. I'll give it a total of three tries. No more than three tries. If I get it on the second try, even better. But I'm not going to. Especially not if that happens. Oh, blast it. Ugh. Oh, come on. This is just... Ridiculous. Maybe I should use the D-pad. I've been using the analog. No, D-pad doesn't work. And I missed the time. Even worse this time. About five seconds longer. All right, one last try, and then succeed or fail, I move on. best time yet but still almost five seconds too long oh well it's only star coins apparently for getting the target time hmm. I was thinking Maybe I got the green and red star if I got the target time, but no, I still only have a blue star. So the only thing you get for it is the extra star coins. Okay. So, Rocky Rollin' Road. Named after ice cream, apparently. Clear the stage, save the hidden waddle dees, and question marks, question marks, question marks. All right. On we go. back here to burn. Doesn't look like it. And no hidden treasure. That's a shame. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay. Gun guy. Can I? Yes. <laughs> he has a pith helmet. 
with a light strap to it like a miner's helmet and a gun that looks like an air horn which shoots stars it would appear eat snacks off three tree stumps really okay that's oddly specific Oh well, already found two of them. Only one more. squashed by boulders? Yes, you can! <laughs> that is useful. Okay, how do I get that thing? Hmm. It's too high to jump. Well. Charge shot. Hold Y. Release. Oh, okay, that's how I got that. That's how I would get that thing back there. Well, let's go take care of that. After saving the Waddle D, yay. I must not get squished, thank you. Alright. Hmm. So I have to aim with the left analog stick, which means I can't move while I'm doing that. That's kind of inconvenient. But then, I guess if you could move, that would make it a little bit overpowered, wouldn't it? Find the side road while going uphill. Okay. That one was actually not difficult exactly, but, you know, it's something that you could have missed. And I get a figurine. Excellent. Okay, this is going to be kind of tricky. Well, I guess no, it's not. Yeah, it's not too hard. Oh, a gun guy. Another target. Ha. A hidden waddle dee. Uh, is that the gun guy power? It looks like it. treasure chest. Why did the music suddenly stop? Aha! Okay, it is a Hidden Waddle D. Alright. Hidden Waddle D, a bunch of star coins, and a bit of food in case I was missing any life power. Anything else? Three snacks off of tree trunks. Tree stumps. Oh, I hate this. I'm going toward the camera where I can't see what. Oh, darn. Where I can't see what's coming up. Get squished. I'm 
Yes, that. Oh, go, go. Yes. Whew, that was close. Ah, really close. Okay, one more hidden waddle dee to go. here doesn't look like it All right. oh, another car segment eh All right This looks risky. Okay. Let's run over this guy. Just because. Jump. Jump. Whoa. And I got the last Waddle Dee after crashing through a wall. <laughs> Drive without falling off the edge. <laughs> okay. Well. Hmm. All right. Looks like I'm not done with the car yet. A figurine. Right. Oh, I was over there, off in the background. Huh. Nice bit of continuity for the stage. All right, then. Clear the stage, save the hidden model Ds, find the side road while going uphill, eat three snacks, eat snacks off of three tree stumps, drive without falling off the edge. That last one, I <laughs> ate. That was kind of lucky that I I noticed that it was kind of precarious over there, so I drove carefully, as carefully as I could while running over enemies. I didn't realize that was going to give me an achievement. Eh. Well, I guess um, being a careful and conscientious driver is a good thing, even in video games, or at least in Kirby games. In some games, it's a good idea to run people over and... Well, okay, it's a good idea to run people over in this... It, it, <laughs> never mind! I'm... <laughs> never mind. Huh. Ah, a Waddle Dee. These delightful residents of Planet Popstar landed in the New World before Kirby arrived. Things looked grim when wild beasts began to capture them and steal their precious food. But with Kirby's help, they're rebuilding their town and starting over. Ah, okay. So the reason those uh, bad guys were kidnapping them is to steal their resources. Those evil villains. Because otherwise, why bother keeping them in cages? You know, put them in slave labor camps or something like that. And make them work for you. Makes much more sense. But, and, you know, at least they're not completely wasting their time. They actually are stealing their food. So, okay, fine. Blade Knight. Okay. A trip to Alival Mall. 
Is that what that said? All Waddle Dee saved. Yay. Oh, another one of those. Okay. Ah, two more of those. Okay. A Lival Mall. Okay. That's an odd name. Is there something in here? Whoa. A hidden portal to a treasure road. Cone mouth treasure. Huh. What are the other two? Fire treasure. Ranger treasure. Oh, that's a two star one. And the cone mouth one is a three star one. I wonder what's in here. I probably have to finish a live old mall in order to find out. Well, I'm at like an hour and 20 minutes. So I think it's about time to end this episode. But first, I want to check out Waddle Dee Town, see how things are going. I've saved 29 of them. Okay, it's looking a little bit busier, but not much. Wait, what's down here? This is where I came up before. To arrival point. Oh! Okay. Yeah, I can do the uh, tutorial segment over again if I want. Huh. Okay, let's let's actually check out the cinema. The music is kind of weird. Oh no, now I'm catching the beat. Okay. All right, what do you have to say? Welcome to Waddle Dee Cinema. You can watch all kinds of movies here. Are you wondering why we built a cinema so soon? Well, it's because entertainment is important. Well, you got a point. So, which movie would you like to watch, Kirby? Um, credits, Kirby in the Mysterious Vortex, Mysterious Mouthful Mode, Welcome to the New World, The Waddle Dees are here too, Invasion of Des the Destroyed Town, Meeting Eliflin, Elif, Elf, Elf, Elfilin, Elfilin. Hmm. Kind of difficult to pronounce. Feel free to stop in anytime. Yeah, maybe later. Honestly, I don't feel like doing that right now. Just wanted to see what was in there. Yeah, okay, it's looking a little bit busier. Really, not very much. I mean, okay, there used to be only one guy here, and now there's two. You know, little things like that, but it sure doesn't look like there are 29 people here. Okay, let's check the collection. Oops. Darn it. Wrong button. Okay, so yeah, I've already read this. And here we get to see Creepy Kirby, the Creepy Kirby Mountain. Cutter Kirby, swish, sling that sharp edged boomerang, blah, blah, blah. We've already read this. Nothing for this one because it's only two stars. Ah, 
darn it, I keep mixing the A and B buttons. My muscle memory for those two different buttons is completely messed up. Because on the Nintendo controller, the A button's on the right and the B button's on the left. But on other controllers, the B button's on the right and the A button's on the left. So it's reversed. And I can never remember which side is which for whichever controller I'm using. That's kind of a neat looking action pose for this guy. In the middle of a swing. I really like the texture on these things. There's some serious detail. That's pretty impressive for a Nintendo game. I mean, they've been getting better about textures in the Switch era. I do have to give them props for that. But here, it's really great. I mean, the, the pauldrons and the green part of the helmet are really shiny. And then the yellow part is kind of roughened. And then the red horsehair, well, looks like clay, honestly but I mean it all looks pretty good and the glove that's holding the sword looks like an actual cloth glove we got the same kind of thing here okay let's yeah, let's get a rotation look. Yeah, he's all kind of shiny. Unlike the Blade Knight who has some rough, who has some more roughened textures. But he has a bit of rough texture there also. Yeah, it's really nice looking. I gotta hand it to Howl, the Howl people. They've done a really good job with the textures on this. Are there any more? Nope, I've viewed them all. Alright. Alright, well, viewers. Thank you very much for watching the first episode of Let's Play Cur Kirby and the Forgotten Land. I'll see you in the next episode as we proceed on with this general area and it looks like we might be getting to the next area pretty soon until then see ya